So what I want to do is I want to make a video where I go over every single win percentage in 2K and what it says about you. And this is more or less to see if where you are. So here's the thing, right? When we, I don't know if y'all remember what we were talking about. I was saying that I think that your rep usually defines how good you are in 2K. Like you other guys are saying that it's more your teammate grade. And then others were saying that no, it's, it's if he's a 99 overall, therefore he's good. But that's just not true because you can play my career, be a pro one, and you're not going to be good because you haven't played the game. So even though we all have points, we all, I mean, your teammate grade usually, if you have an A or A plus, it's usually a pretty good teammate grade. But, but the real definition of how good you are is your win percentage. Are you winning or not? At the end of the day, that's a tell all be all. Are you winning? So we're going to go to every single percentage in 2K and we're going to say what that means about you. Okay. If you have a 10% win percentage, there's no easy way to say this. You're just bad. Um, but not just, it's not just that you're bad because you can be bad at this game and win games. Because if you're bad, let's say I'm bad at 2K. Like you can't green your shots. You don't know any like animations. You don't know how to do anything. You haven't looked up anything online. What's up Kyrie? Right? Like it's not just that you're bad, but that means that if you're playing with randoms, you're so bad that not even randoms can carry you. So that's probably not even the case. You're probably bad to the point where you're playing with other people that are also just as bad as you, and that's why y'all can't win games like ever. Therefore, that's probably why you have about a 10% win percentage. So you're also playing with really bad people and have zero knowledge in 2K. We'll get to that, Mikey. Oh, well, no one has 100%. That's why I'm not even gonna have, I'm gonna get that out of the way now. No one has 100% in 2K. Like, I think people have like 98%. But no one has 100%, so there's no point to even talk about it. But how about 95 and up, right? How about that? How about that? Right? So 20%. If you have a 20% win percentage, I think that you're bad, but you have been carried for a couple games. Like between 20% and 10%, it's basically they're both equally bad. There is no difference, except the 20%, this dude could probably like play with randoms and sometimes get wins rather than on 10% like you're probably always playing with like bad people so you never win so that's basically the difference right uh 30% easy way to say this I believe 30% win percentage is like the most common win percentage in 2k like 30 to 39 that this is the casual you are officially casual you, you're not really great you can't consistently green like you green like 30% of your shots your build's probably not even that good or meta you don't know the meta you don't know probably how to do curry slides or anything and uh, you probably play with randoms all the time, right? So, therefore, therefore, I'd say that 30% is about casual. So, that's what I believe. Uh, if you're in a 30%, you're about just mid, right? So, 40% to 60% are actually pretty close to each other. But I'll say 40%, you're mid with potential. You can kind of green. You probably know the animations. Basic understanding of the meta. But either you're playing with randoms or you're playing with people who are also just kind of mid or bad and that they're, they're kind of bringing you down. I think that you're good and that you can actually get better, but mid is usually like you're already pretty good at video games and you started to play 2K, but you're still pretty casual, right? That's what I believe. 50, what do I say with 50? I don't want to say you're mid because you're not mid, but you're also not good. You understand 2K, how about that? You probably green 40 to 50%, you know the meta. You're just not consistent enough. Probably not good at defense either. Thank you for the bits, Vinny. Or not good at offense. So either you're probably good at really good at like playing defense, but you can't score, or you're really good at offense and you can't D up. Either it's usually either one of those. But you understand the game, you understand the meta, you can kind of pray to bench green consistently, but you just don't have enough to take you over to that next level. But here's the thing: I think people who are 60% and 40%. It all depends on who you're playing with. If you have a 60% win percentage, you're already solid. I think you're, you're solid. When you, once you're solid, even I'd consider you good at the game. Playing with the same people. That's what I truly believe. You're constantly playing with the same people who are all constantly playing. You're pretty decent at defense and offense. So think about how, like the only way you can become a, a solid player is if you have a 61 percentage, I believe. No, 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 no. Because this is what I believe. 70% is you're officially comp. I think once you're in the 70% club, you're officially like like good enough to call yourself comp. Usually high rep, understand animations perfectly, green 60% at least, run with the same people. I think if you're 20% and you're 
you're basically the same player except a couple differences. And I believe 30% is its own thing, 40% through 60% you're also its own category of player. I think you can, this is like the, the basic decent player 2k, but some are just a little better others on specific things. Once you're at 70, that's when I think you're finally comp, but 80? What do I even think you're at 80? I think once you're at 80%, one percentage, you're in, you're in the top 1% of players. You don't see a lot of players at 80%. I'd even say more. You don't run from anyone, probably, at that point. Like, you're just that good. And you probably exploit the meta at this point. Like, you can't get to 80% one percentage and not cheese something, you know? Whether it be fades, whether it be uh, defensive cheeses, whether it be post hooks, you're, you're exploiting something. That's the only way you're winning all the time like that. And then 90%, I'd say wager, if you're getting a, if you have a 90% one percentage, you're in the wager territory. Uh, I'd say you're in the top 0.1% and you don't, you literally, you don't make mistakes. You basically green every open shot, like every open shot. Like you literally do not miss open shots. Like that's how good you are, right? I, I think once you're in the 90 like percent win, like rate, like just you're, you're doing wagers. The gap between 80 and 90 is also pretty big in my opinion. Uh, you, you just don't mess up at all. And you basically green every open shot and even green some crazy shots. Uh, greening stuff that most people can't like, like circus threes and even better than that, right? And then when you're in the 95% club, you're basically like top 100. If you win 95% of your games and more, you're easily top 100 in the world. Uh, you're greening ridiculous shots. Perfect defense, because this game is all about defense at the end, of the, at the high level. If I had to say the biggest difference between someone who has a 90 overall, like 90% and a 95%, you never play with others. And when I mean others, I mean like you have your, your second for twos and that's it. You don't play with anybody else. Like you play with your guy and that is your guy for life. And y'all know exactly how each other play and you never play with anybody else ever. That is someone who has a 95%, I'd say so. I'd even say YouTubers are probably up here. Even though 90% 90, 90 are also YouTubers, but I'd say 95% is like the, the like the best of the best. I think 70% is 80% are pretty close to each other. It just depends on situations. And then I'd say the 95% are like top tier, like like no one even compares. Trell and I are 70. Trell and I are 70. I think we're calm. I think once we start playing together more and more and more, cause we just started playing together. Like it's only been four days now. Uh, once we start playing together for a while, we could be definitely in like the 80. I don't think 90, 90 is too much. Even though we, we win like 10 games every day in a row, all it takes is a couple sweaty players and then you're going down to 80 and we're not going to be running from people. So I think if you're, if you're in the yellow, you're just bad at the game. You can't green. You don't know that you don't know, like, understand the game at all. You're probably bad at defense specifically. So no, uh, when you're here in the green, you already know about curry slide. You already know about how to win games, screens, lobs. You understand builds. You watch some YouTube videos. Uh, you're usually in like the casual area, but you're a little better than the casual. The casual is usually at 30. Uh, usually play with friends or people that you know. And then this is when you start getting into the good players. Usually around here is like the people who are just like greening everything, making some dumb shots, super solid. And then once you get to purple, you're already in like the YouTuber area. And then this is just like the goats. Not as not many people in the, up here. So that's kind of like my what you you are where you are that's my personal opinion about it but that is that is how i feel